Hello, my fuzzy little bat butts. I have just returned very, very recently from the most beautiful land that I've been to in a really long time called Iceland. And I have a lot of vlog footage that I can share with you guys. Um, unfortunately, uh, well, it's not really unfortunately, I do this often, but um, I was I was very overwhelmed and taken back by how beautiful and um, how magical Iceland is. So I didn't get a whole lot of vlog footage, but I did get a pretty decent amount. So I'm going to do this uh, vlog journey through Iceland a little bit different than some of my other vloggings whenever I go on vacation, where instead of me just showing you the footage from Iceland, I'm going to talk a little bit about it and show you footage from Iceland. So um, without further ado, let's talk about some of the main points of Iceland if you're planning on going. Iceland is in fact very, very expensive. So um, I'm sure if you've already been looking into Iceland, you're well aware of this fact, but if it is news to you, I think probably the best option for you if you're going to go to Iceland is to go to grocery stores and just stock up on food that you're going to want to eat during your whole stay in Iceland. Brady and I also stayed in a capsule hotel which was really, really cool. It's just like it sounds. It's like the Japanese style capsule hotels where you have this one little bunk that's yours and it shuts and it's legitimately a capsule. So really, really cool. Um, I totally recommend if you, if you're interested in that, I think it was called the Galaxy Hotel or Galaxy Hostel. Um, if I can remember the exact name of the hostel we used, I will link that down below as well. It was very inexpensive to stay there, and there was a grocery store right across the street. And um, to get into town, it was about a 10-minute walk. By the way, Brady and I also walked everywhere in Reykjavik, Iceland. It wasn't, I mean, it's a lot of walking, but it's not that bad because there's a lot to look at. So you just get distracted and before you know it, you're at the destination that you're trying to get to. So um, walking is totally possible if you're just wanting to explore the town of Reykjavik and you're not necessarily wanting to leave town, then you'll be fine just walking everywhere. What's another thing? Um, if you are planning on drinking while you're in Iceland, I recommend that you download this app called Happy Hour and um, it's going to tell you all of the places that are having happy hour and what time they have happy hour. So instead of paying $15 for a beer, you can pay $5 for a beer. And all the bars do this really cool thing where they have like a wheel of fortune wheel and they'll spin that wheel if you've been, and they, they pick at random different patrons, patrons, patrons of the bar. Uh, they pick at random who's gonna get to spin the wheel and on the wheel it has like a free shot, uh, five free drinks, two free drinks. It's just basically this chance game of what are you going to get for free, which is really, really cool. So um, anyways, I think happy hour is super important. Download it if you're planning on drinking while you're in Iceland so you can know which bars are going to get you um, well on your way without having to break your bank. So um, I guess where should I start with this Iceland adventure? I'll start with where we went first. Uh, as soon as we landed in the airport, we went straight to Blue Lagoon from the airport. So we've made it to Reykjavik and we're getting ready to go to the Blue Lagoon, which should be nice after so much of trains and buses and trains and buses. Uh, we were in Germany before this trip has begun, so we're very excited to go relax in some warm water, but this is the process. The airport's right over there, and um, it's rock, grass, that's about the extent of that. <laughs> so I forgot to say one more thing before you leave the airport, um, get alcohol because it's gratuity free, which means it's a lot cheaper. It's, it's already pretty expensive, but it's a lot cheaper if you do it in the airport. And can we talk about the packaging on these? I love this one that says Floki. And then over here we have one. Yes, 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 yes. And we got uh, some of this, which we've had in Texas before, surprisingly, and it's really good, except this one's a porter. And Brady got some York. 
And there's a little branch in there. This is so cute. Schnapps made of birch. Schnapp birch. And then of course the apothic red. It's a standard. Tradition. Standard. But yeah, um, whenever you're in the airport, get your alcohol then. Because it's going to be very expensive otherwise. Whenever, whenever we got there, we went up to the info desk at the airport. Oh, before you do that, be sure to shop in the grocery store that is in the airport because you can buy all of your stuff without the extra taxes on it. So alcohol is going to be way cheaper if you buy it in the airport before you leave through security. Be sure that you stop in the little grocery store that they have in the airport because you're going to get everything at a much cheaper price. So do that immediately before you get out of the airport. And um, Anyways, before we went to Blue Lagoon, we went to the info desk and they told us which bus it is and we had to walk down this giant winding like bus station outside of the airport. First thing I noticed was how windy it was and how cold it was, which two things that I absolutely love and I was totally fine with and I'm not being sarcastic either. I love whenever it's windy and I really love cold weather. So I was totally well set and happy. And um, we had to go all the way to the very end of the bus stop to wait for our bus. And um, unlike in Germany, uh, the bus wasn't on time and they weren't really a stickler on time. I think they were like 15 minutes behind on picking us up, but it wasn't like, we don't, we don't give a shit. It's fine. So, um, don't, don't, uh, whenever you, whenever you go out to catch one of those buses, if you're planning on doing the same thing, don't stress out if it's not right on time. Um, Anyways, we get to the Blue Lagoon and I'm expecting it to be uh, maybe just a tourist trap. Like it's not going to be as good as people have been talking about, but holy shit was I wrong. Blue Lagoon was absolutely beautiful. The weather, uh, weather, the water is fantastic and you could feel like your skin feels so soft and nice once you get out of it. Um, there, there was, that was an experience that was very magical and even the hillside that's right beside the lagoon has this very fantasy and whimsical vibe about it. It just feels like you're surrounded by magical creatures. So I totally recommend uh, Blue Lagoon for anybody that's visiting. It is a little bit expensive, totally worth it. I will say that before you go in the lagoon, you have to put a ton of conditioner in your hair so that your hair won't be coarse because if the water gets on your hair and you don't have conditioner in it, it's going to become really, really coarse. So that's one thing. Um, also, if you're really shy about um, getting undressed in front of other women in the locker room, that is kind of a thing that happens. You have to get fully undressed and it's an open locker room and you're surrounded by people from all over the world. And uh, everybody's doing it though. We all have the same parts. We're all mammals. It's okay. It's fine. But if you are uncomfortable undressing in front of a lot of people there are also bathrooms where the door shuts and you could totally undress in there however before you get in the blue lagoon you do have to take a shower and you have to rinse your entire body before going in the lagoon um, they have open showers and they also have showers where the door shuts and you can shower inside behind a shut door um, i did the shut door on the shower just because i felt incredibly weird to shower um nude in front of anyone that would that makes me uncomfortable so um <laughs> those are those are some things that people might have a hang up over but don't stress out too much um you'll be good the lockers were kind of confusing to use initially but um you'll see wherever you go and uh that'll be a nice little fun uh, adventure for you to figure out how to get the stuff in the locker. Oh yeah, they have lockers in the dressing room. So you can bring a purse, a towel. Um, I recommend bringing your own towel because they do charge act extra to use their towels. So bring your own towel. Um, yeah. And uh, maybe bring even like some soap for after the lagoon, if you want to. Um, bring some like body wash or something so you can take a quick shower before you head back into town and they also have uh, blow dryers in the bathroom too that are complimentary that you can use uh, while you're there so that's those are some little things about the blue lagoon uh, what did we do next we went back into town which from the airport to blue lagoon is about 30 minutes but it's so fucking beautiful driving in that it goes by super quick once we were in town 
um, that night we went directly just to get food and then we kind of bar hopped and we used that app Appy hour and then um, as far as food goes what did we uh, they don't have Yelp in Iceland because we usually use Yelp when we're out of town to figure out where to eat so instead we just scoured um, Google search and the first night we went to a sushi place that was fucking amazing I will be honest with you all the food I had in Iceland was so good and seasoned so well so I think you're probably gonna be good um, if you just do what we did in Google search like the best restaurants in Iceland and then just do it that way and go to the restaurants that way if you're planning on eating there um, it's worth it it's worth the money they give you really good portions you're not gonna get ripped off it costs a lot but they also do really beautiful presentation and the food is seasoned really well so um, but if you aren't wanting to spend that money, the grocery store has really good food as well. So you don't have to um, worry too much. I will say that the grocery store, the pre-prepared food where it's like you can buy the salads or the sandwiches that are already made, those are the same price as going out to eat. So I chose just to go out to eat and um, enjoy the cuisine, the yummy, yummy foods. Um, the next day we went to a lot of museums. My favorite one out of the two that we went to was the Saga Museum where they have a bunch of uh, wax figure people and I'm gonna let you guys see the video real quick of the Saga Museum. <laughs> Majestic. <laughs> Here. Here to put you with him. Yeah. If you're planning on going to the Saga Museum, I will say that um, if you're super into Vikings and you're super into um, just old Norse mythology or even reenactment for Vikings, you will really love this museum. They have everybody dressed in historical clothing and garb, so you can get lots of ideas if you're into like historical reenactment on outfits that you can create and different things that you can do. Um, the gift shop inside of the Saga Museum is really cool. They have lots of Viking oriented things. And the museum in general was um, really nice, very well done, very well maintained. I thought it was really cool. It's about a 30 minute walk through, so it's not super long. If you have kids, it's gonna be one of the better museums to take them to because they'll be entertained during the whole time. Um, they also have little audio headsets so you can walk through and it speaks in English to you or whatever your native tongue is. They have audio headsets that you can listen to. And Brady and I did the audio headsets. Very grateful that we did so because there was lots and lots of really cool information in those. The uh, second museum that we went to was I think the National or it was Iceland's museum and it's right by the college campus and I can't remember the exact name of it but um, there are crazy cool artifacts at this museum. They have lots of um, Viking like artifacts of hairbrushes, brooches, linen, um, all kinds of crazy cool tools that are old, 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 old. And they also have bones on display from Viking burials. Lots of really cool stuff. 
but there was also a ton of Christianization stuff. So things that have to do with churches and things that have to do with like Catholic and Christian belief systems. It was just um, a lot of that Christianization that took up a lot of the museum and I get it. That was something that happened and a lot of the old Norse um, gods and goddesses and old Norse paganism kind of got destroyed by this changeover into Christianity and also um, there was a, a long time ago there was a law that was passed in Iceland where they could worship the old gods but if they had to do it in secrecy and they had to be secret about it and if they were um if anybody knew that they did it then it was punishable so a lot of like the old norse gods like thor's hammer and things like that have been hidden into like christian symbolism so there's like a thor's hammer that looks like a christian cross and that was because of the christianization in scandinavia and there's a couple of things like that like there's a statue of odin that's a little um, god statue for someone to carry around and instead they said that uh, the way that they, they designed this Odin statue was that it could also be perceived as Jesus so like somebody could carry around this heathen pagan statue and they wouldn't get in trouble because they could be like oh it's Jesus this isn't Odin so uh, it was I was hoping at this museum to see a lot of pagan related items and it was not so and I should have expected that because a lot of things got destroyed with um, all the crusades and stuff but what what have you it's a cool museum a lot of really cool stuff um, and it, it's neat I do recommend it but it's not like as fun and exciting as the saga museum like the 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 other museum, which I hate that I can't remember the name of it, I think it was just Iceland's museum of the history of Iceland. Meh. But it was it was really cool, but it also was very like history oriented and it was done so in a way where it's not like super exciting. So it's exciting to see these artifacts and think, oh wow, somebody had this, this was a part of someone's life. But there are some parts of it where it was kind of boring and um, the Saga Museum, I'm kind of a little kid, so like the Saga Museum was more hands-on and visually pleasing and that had me like in the zone and stoked and stuff. So I recommend the Saga Museum and I also recommend this other um, Iceland's History Museum as well just for the fact that the artifacts are insanely cool. Um, what else did we do? We shopped a lot in Iceland um, and the shops are very, very expensive. Everything is super, super pricey. So instead of buying things while I was in Iceland, I would see something that I liked in the gift shop and then I actually went on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime and I would look up keywords of what the item was that I liked and I'd find it on Amazon Prime and I would buy it on Amazon Prime for like significantly less than what they had it priced at, at least like 50% less than the price in the store and um, it was at my house by the time I arrived home from Iceland because I have that whole one day shipping so I had all the things I wanted to buy at Iceland um, at my house and I didn't have to worry about bringing it home in my suitcase so that's kind of cool if um, you see things you like in Iceland maybe you just use your Amazon account and purchase them and by the way I totally recommend Amazon Prime fucking amazing not sponsored I'm just saying Amazon Prime is really cool. So, um, what else happened in Iceland? <sighs> I think Brady and I mostly, we ate a lot of food, we drank a lot of drinks, and we just looked at a lot of pretty sights. So, for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna dump footage here that maybe I didn't talk about. Um, I talked about most of the key points of what we did. We didn't do a whole lot because we weren't there very long. We were only there for four days. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead and play the remaining footage for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free down below to discuss in the comments whatever you would like to discuss. Um, I will see you again next week. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and um, I'll talk to you very, very soon. Tschüss. Tschüssi. Uh, enjoy the rest of the footage. Stay. Hang tight. You can watch it. Woo!